What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Today I'm getting some fights in with Israel Adesanya. He's going to be facing Robert Whitaker tomorrow. Can't wait for that fight. First fight here, we're facing Chael Sonnen, though, and you don't see Chael a lot, but Chael is actually actually solid in this game. He His boxing is definitely underrated. He actually has pretty solid boxing. And then, of course, we know about his wrestling and top game. The one bad thing about Chael is his submission defense is terrible. And usually you're facing like Jacare or, you know, maybe Damian Meyer, Nick Diaz, who all have great ground games. But since I'm using Israel, that's not going to be a problem for him. So we're going to be watching for that takedown. And did he throw jab, uppercut, one, two? Interesting there. That came out really quick, too. So far, he's not really showing he wants to take me down, but I'm sure he is. He picked Chell for a reason. There it is. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I forget what moves Israel has. I didn't go. I've used them before, but I didn't go into practice mode. I thought he was gonna do something else there. Not that. He's trying to clinch now. I don't mind beating the clinch. I think we'll do okay there. Up, oh, driving us to the fence. Oh, he went double unders. Oh, and I let him get that. He got it. He got it. Can't blame Lag. That's that's amateur hour by me there. Nope, not gonna let you have that though. Nope, not gonna let you have that either. There we go. Can't believe I let him get that takedown that easily. Ooh, or that. I knew he was gonna do that. Good job. No. Oh, he let me get that one. Nice. All right, we're back. So he didn't get to do anything on the ground there. Ooh, that's why I got to be careful throwing those body kicks so close like that. I don't want to get caught with a big hook. That vulnerability will take extra damage. Oh, man, nice job. He should have went for a takedown on me there. You know, there's not much time left. Let's uh, see us stay on top of him here. A little ground and pound. All right, so that was a pretty close round, actually. He, he took me down, but literally did nothing with it. I mean, on the feet, you know, we both landed good, some good strikes. We both did our thing on the feet. You know, close round, I would say. No one got rocked. Mm. There we go. Slip straight into the hook. I bet you he meant to go for a high double leg and not drive me. Yep, he let go. See, that's why. I've done that before, too. There we go. We got him with that one. There we go. He's doing a good job of blocking his body. He's done a fairly good job at that. We're starting to catch him pretty good here now. There we go. There we go. He's slipping over a lot, so I'm catching him with those hooks now. Shot. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 
He's fainting with the punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a Good job. Got the clinch on me. Ooh, he went the other way. Try to block. You know, you know when they when they do the tie clinch, you have to when they escape the tie clinch, that leg grab is a free takedown. If you do it immediately, he didn't do it immediately, but I assumed he was because you have to pre-block that. So I was like, he's gonna go for the leg grab. So I pre-blocked and did it too early because he didn't do it right away. So when I went to try to block it again, he didn't count. <laughs> but we're back up anyway. He hasn't been able to keep me on the ground at all, dude. Like literally anything on the ground. We're able to get up, we're able to block him and then get up to our feet immediately before he can do anything. One thing he's doing too is just transitioning pretty quickly. Even if he's throwing fakes that I'm seeing him coming, he needs to drop a little, those little, those little small strikes, you know, build up a little grapple advantage. There we go. That means we caught that one early on when we block him like that, that driving takedown. That's a big stamina loss for them too, but I'm not using a jujitsu guy because that would have been a submission right there, a guillotine. I don't even know if Israel has it, but I don't. I don't want to go for a sub. There we go. Finally got a rock on him there. He's be careful here. He's in trouble. Take our time. Okay, so that round was definitely ours. I was a big. The first round I felt was really close. This round, for sure, even without that rock, we won that round. We landed some really nice strikes. Boom. Yeah, that head damage is finally starting to come into play now. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Nothing fancy. I right, appreciate that, man. We're having a good fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes. To the yeah, side. that was stupid. And you know, I meant to feint that kick. I wasn't really going to throw it out, but it came. I didn't press block in time. It's my fault. I didn't want to sprawl out. It's too obvious. He'll pre-block. He's probably pre-blocking that. Nope. You see what I mean? I have, he he, he fakes like one time, and then well, he, rare he really went for it, but like he fakes usually once, and then Trent does the real thing. Like he's made that very obvious, and he's doing it way too quickly. Drop a little ground and pound first. Fake more than just one time. Something. There he goes. He's rocked again. Not gonna not gonna rush. Let's pull back there by him. Oh, good job there. I didn't see that one coming. I should have. Nope. Nope. There we go. Rocked him there. Said, I'm not gonna force the finish. There we go. Oh, there it is. He tried to <laughs> he tried to clinch and ate that uppercut hook. That's why you kind of need to set up those clinch attempts with a couple punches first. It's rocked again. See all the damage we we've done in those first two rounds, and now they've now come back in this third round. I wonder how his body health is doing because I've done a decent job landing some body shots. There we go. Nice knee to the body there. <laughs> he's gassed. He's gassed out. Yeah, he's taunting. He's, he's trying. I, I don't blame him. He knows he's down. He's got to try. He's trying something desperate. But I don't, I don't take the bait on those uh, taunts right there. Oh, good job by him. No. No. Okay. Let's, best, let's bust up his body a little bit here. There's not much time left. Let's break. I'm actually, it looks like I'm a little gassed myself. 
Huh. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Strong transition. Nope. There. Went for that rear naked choke. Or back. I don't know if Chell has a rear naked or back to either way. Good fight, man. Yeah, that was definitely our fight. I would like to get the finish there, but it was tough, man. Chell was a tough one. But, man, we whooped him that third round. I mean, we just rocked him and dropped him multiple times. Just couldn't get him out of there. Yeah, Rogan's saying we clearly won the fight. Two thirty twenty seven to one twenty nine twenty eight, I believe is what I heard. They probably one judge probably gave him that first round. That first round was kind of close. All right, guys, first fight down though. We got the dub. I'll be back with the next one. All right, we are facing Yoel Romero, Soldier of God. So another wrestler. Although Romero's got some nasty stand up too. <laughs> Please don't keep throwing hook, 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 man. That's not going to end good for you if you keep doing that. Yeah, see? Pull up or cut. I know Romero only has boxing combos level one, and you can only throw so many combos with him, but hook, hook, hook over and over and over again is not going to be the answer for that. Oh, he threw a jab at the end there. I, was, I wonder if he did that on purpose. He threw he threw hook, hook, jab, it looked like. And the jab, since he was close enough, caught me when I went to pull back. I don't know what this guy's strategy is. He's just like, he misses again on another kick. He is blocking the body now. Look at that. He hasn't thrown any takedowns yet. Or clinch attempts. Uh, Romero has a sick clinch game, too. Up, oh, I went for it again there. Up, oh, went for it again. Double that up. Yeah, I knew he was going to keep punching. I knew that straight right would interrupt him. I was trying to go for a front kick there. There it is. That gave me a hook instead. Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of body work right now. I know that body's not doing good already. We're early in the fight. Just standing there in front of me. We'll keep hitting him. Good head kick. Look at him, he's gassing himself throwing. What is he doing? <laughs> that it? That's it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this guy was going on with. I really don't know what he was doing. Just hook, hook, hook. Hang back, hang back, hang back. Throw a head kick, throw a wild overhand. Hook, hook, hook. <laughs> Bam, there it is. Pull up or cut. Into this night. All right, you know what, guys? Since I went into quick, let me go ahead and get another one in. Be right back with the next one. All right, Vandalay Silva. Getting some interesting matchups here. I thought I would be facing a lot of Adesanya's or Whitaker, Whitaker's because usually when there's a you know UFC pay per view, a lot of people do that. They pick the fighters who are about to fight in the main event. But we've actually gotten some variety. Chael Sonnen, Romero, now Vandalay. It's pretty cool. We're not running the Jacare's and Whitaker's and Adesanya's all the time. Big straight punch. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Adesanya. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the 
guy's actually fighting, throwing a lot of kicks. He's actually hanging back a lot, though. See, he's throwing this combo. Oh, now he's coming forward. So I say that he backs away. A lot of Vandalay players I, I go up against are just, you know, they're berserkers. They just come forward with him and just rip those hooks. And I've said it before. Man, I went for the, I want to get the tie clinch on him. Yikes. Let's had him on the fence there. It's all right. Not a big deal. Just take our time. Someone as powerful as Vandalay, we're going to get rocked a little bit sometimes. Not a... I said not a big deal at all. Oh, he missed that kick. Ooh, he put that block up just in time. Let him have these. Good block by him there. I went for that side kick. It didn't come out. Hmm. Off that fence. He is throwing a lot. He's going to waste his stamina. Oh, we rocked him. I bet his stamina was low when that happened. that kick on but we landed a right hand ourselves I'll take that trade off oh and rocked him there oh one two that might be it that's it wow I thought he was gonna recover from that we rocked him with that straight right lead up or cut then what do we hit him with there was it a one two and that was all she wrote Let's see, one, two, oh, it's a hook, one, four. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and get one last fight in, since, we're going, since it's going good. I'll be right back, guys. All right, Michael Bisping. Oh, did my man fake glove touch me, or did he think I wasn't going to touch? I had my glove out. So Bisping, as you know, and look at this guy. He's going to be, yep, that's why people love picking Bisping because he's like a Diaz bro in a sense. He can throw a hundreds of punches around and, you know, he doesn't get tired. So put himself on the fence here. This is an interesting strategy. Oh, he was ready for that. He knew I was going to do that. It's fine. Three piece there. Yeah, you might want to get off that fence, man. It's not working too well for you. My right hand didn't come out behind it. Why not? I don't understand this game sometimes why that happens. I know Israel has that, but you can land a lead head kick into the right hand. Now, I know Bisping has great stamina, but you keep missing on these kicks like that, you're, you're, you will waste stamina. There we go. Yeah, he wants a firefight. You see how he's just ripping shots constantly when he gets close to me? He's throwing those three, four hit combos. I don't know why he's putting himself on the fence, though. It's, uh, he's, I'm lighting him up when he does that. I don't know if he's like frustrated that I'm not fighting like Vandalay Silva in the center of the cage with him or what, but there we go. We rock him there. Take our time. Oh, he stayed there. I thought he was going to just block. Keep that one to me right there. Yeah, don't keep throwing the delay jab, man. We're just going to do that. Flip straight left hook, yeah. Final minute of round one. Watch the 
shot here, Joe. There's the right hand. Oh, I think he might have sidestepped that. Need to watch out. Those are big stamina drainers when they miss spin kicks. Easily our round. I threw a good amount of strikes myself, but he kind of forced me to by the way he was playing. But, I mean, we really landed some nice strikes on him. Dropped him. Rocked him a couple times. And we did some decent work to the body as well. Yep. Some straight left hook. Yeah, he's sidestepping. Maybe miss again. He's expecting those. Take our time. We're not like I said. If we get him rocked, we're not gonna rush in all crazy. It's been landing a few decent leg kicks on me. I don't know where my leg health is at, so I might switch to southpaw. Faint a couple times. Get that straight right to the head, left hook to the body. So he's throwing one, two, one, two a lot, but right there, even though I sidestepped him, he threw a jab, left hook. He's throwing a hook every once in a while, so I do need to be careful when I slip over. Mm. Trying to catch him coming in there. He didn't commit to it. See, one, two, one, two. See, so he threw a hook in between there. I know that stamina can't be doing super hot. I know he's Bisping, who has great cardio, but still, he is just, he's still throwing like a madman. Oh, it didn't knock him back. Rocked again. Yeah, that head health is compromised. Oh, chill out. I just said I wasn't going to, I was going to stay calm. I kind of went crazy there and missed. I saw that coming, but I, I reacted too late to the side lunge. Caught me. Just way too aggressive with Bisping. It's two rounds in the books for us. I kind of wish I had the HUD on. Like to see where that stamina is at on him. I don't know how damaged my leg is, so I'm gonna switch to South. We'll fight Southpaw here for a little bit. He's still throwing crazy at this. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Bisbee. Oh, not even close. Come on. There we go. Slip straight. Rocked again. Hmm. 
I think I got that block up in time on that overhand. Oh, nice uh, leg kick there. Got the hits done and hit, hit me with the overhand. Let's rock the pin. Should have thrown a front kick to the head when he did that. Just like that. There we go. Made up for it there. Just all over, yeah. He's all over the place. At this point, though, he's got to go for it. You know, he's lost every round. Dropped. He's still into it. Let's get up. Let's get up. Oh, he blocked me. You see, like, when he gets up against the fence, I'm like, he's, there's no way he's going to want to throw a strike. I'll be able to get a strike on him. No, he threw. Oh, he's done. He's done. Yeah, some of these fighters, man, they don't care. Some of these plays you run into, they, they don't think about that. You just go for it. He just went for it there. You see that? There's a jab that finished him. I went for the spin to the body. That was all she wrote. Too much head damage was done. All right, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. This was fun using Israel. Always have a fun time using him. you got to be careful and use him a certain way, though. But he is fun to use. We'll see how he does Saturday. I'm rooting for Whitaker, though, but I love both guys. But it's going to do it for this one. Do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Have a fantastic day. Peace. As he gets the huge knockout victory, that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year.